ABCC Trial Singapore. We're on the way, we're at the airport, we're about to board the flight, got everything all ready. We've got a long journey ahead of us, America afterwards, but I'm really looking forward to seeing how this journey unfolds, this part of my, part of my story. I'm really going to try and make the most of every single moment, be present. I'm just going to look back on this in the years to come, and I really hope that this trip in particular changes a lot of things for me here. Good refresh button, which is what I need. Let's go ahead, ADCC Trial Singapore 2023, here we come. All right, I've officially arrived in Singapore. It is hot, sticky, humid, very different to Melbourne. Gonna go pick up my luggages now and I'm just gonna try and organize everything. Then we'll start exploring the city. Just to confirm, we are going to Ibis Budget Singapore. Correct. Cool. It's not too bad. It's got what I need. A bed, comfortable, that's all I need. It's got the bathroom, but the odd part is that the toilet, the bath, and the shower head's in one. <laughs> that's the only part. That's what you get, and that's what you gotta deal with when you budget. And so right, the name of the hotel is fucking budget. Honestly, the guy that drove me was actually pretty nice. He really gave really insightful information to everything. I honestly stink. Unfortunately, raining and thunderstorming a little bit, because I wanted to go for a jog and a run just to fully explore the city. We'll see how we go. I'm currently on my way to try and find the charging socket for the wall so I can charge my phone for tomorrow. The weather is very reminiscent of Thailand. Hot, muggy, sticky. I just went into a 7-Eleven store. I should have filmed that, my bad. But it's got some cool convenience, weird tacky stuff. Tomorrow I booked in a Joseph, uh, Joseph Chen seminar. So I'll be able to meet up with a lot of people that have come down for the trials and link up and hopefully be able to get around Singapore with them. And the people are lovely, by the way. Absolutely lovely. So we ended up picking up the charger. So now my phone will be all sorted in terms of adapter wise and all, but going around the shops, it's really interesting to see. Some of the restaurants look really, really awesome. And you can see some of the grocery shops and all, which I'll, again, in the video, I'll do way more in-depth stuff, but go and buy some of these restaurants here, for example, like this Ikura Japanese spot. They do stuff like tomahawk steak, salmon sashimi. Well, let's see what we've got in this grocery store here. If you know me, I ended up getting my bubble tea. But this is a cool little waffle shop as well that I might come try afterwards. It's actually got really, really cool stuff, guys. Like, I'm really keen to explore this a lot more further. I really love the fact that it's a Thursday and everything's open till this late. So day one, arrived in Singapore, packed away, explored a little bit, got my charger, got a bit of bubble tea. And then tomorrow, we've got the seminar at 12. Train, make way, and probably feast, to be honest. Feast on some good food. In my hotel area, there's these little food spots where you can go in and eat. And this one actually looks pretty good. I'm just gonna look at the menu really quick. Yeah, like this looks good. Looks busy as in there. Like this one looks very interesting. The cheese Prada soup. And as you can see, it's absolutely busting. People are in there eating and whatnot. So I'm definitely looking forward to visiting these spots after. Good morning, day two in Singapore. We've got the Joseph Chen seminar. Room wasn't too bad. I was able to get some decent sleep. I kept on waking up, but I think it's because of the time zone difference. This morning, I pulled an impulsive plug. I'm in Austin from December, sorry, from November 29th till December 6th. And I saw that there's a UFC event on December 2nd in Austin. I was looking at a deliberation. I was looking at a few of the tickets. Not too bad. I thought to myself, I said, fuck it. My mom told me, just spend the money. It's all about an experience. When are you ever going to go there? So I pulled the trigger and actually got decent seats. So I ended up spending like a decent amount of money, a big chunk on some good seats. That's another thing that I'm really looking forward to. So that's on December 2nd. And the main event for that one is Armand Sarukin versus Benil Darius. So that's going to be an absolutely cracker of a card. So now what am I going to do? I'm going to quickly jump into 7-Eleven. We've got Rory over there! <laughs> yeah, let's jump into 7-Eleven, grab a quick drink, and then we're gonna go off to the Joseph Chen seminar. My brother Rory, do you wanna be a part of the vlog? Yeah. My brother Rory coming down for ADCC Charles as well. How you feeling, brother? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. All right, guys, played it a bit safe, just went with some small drink. One of the ones that we have in Melbourne, those Boss Latte Fresh Brew thingamabobs. Just to give you that little bit of kick to do some training right now. So let's head off to the seminar. In terms of what I'm using to travel, guys, I'm using like their version of Uber. And honestly, very, very conveniently cheap. Like to get from the airport to my hotel, which is like my hotel's outside of the city, it only costs like 30 bucks. Whereas if you go by a, like actual Uber app and whatnot, 
it's like what 100 bucks drivers are very good with their english communication is very very smooth very very easy to get around at least in singapore so we have arrived at singapore submission grappling the gym's pretty nice very very clean no one's rocked that bit because we're still half an hour early but i wanted to come in and stretch out but yes we are here and it's actually inside the shopping center which is really interesting to see i won't record too much because it is the seminar we'll get some free rolling in more people will rock up and it'll be a bit of fun with the brother over here we're partnering up together to do the jewel just want to quickly say thank you so we have officially finished up at the seminar i'm going to the corner so you guys can hear my voice but it was awesome we went through a lot of leg lock defense stuff which is fantastic because i believe a lot of people at this comp are going to be trying to attack the legs now this is good because it's an area of my game that i've always wanted to improve upon so out of convenience it benefited me i had a good partner to go with as well we we're always drilling a few people were sitting out and just like not necessarily just fighting around but holidaying in a sense whereas we and me and my partner his name is President Cheska or something like that. We were here to train, so that was good. I weighed myself just then, I'm 85 kilos, so I'm well under the threshold. So what I'll do is I'll go home now. I actually need to take a shit, but um, I might get a drink. Go back to the apartment, have a shower, because I do stink. Then go to the weigh-ins, and then that way, I can go eat nicely, whether it's with a few people or even by myself. Don't care. I want to try some quality food. How are you, brother? What's up, buddy? Good. good man, good. Where do you come from? Man? Just finished up with some rolling. I did two rolls. There's people rolling with Craig, Joseph and whatnot. But now I'm gonna start dipping out so I can go to the weigh-in. Currently at the weigh-ins, this is the line. Looks like a lot of people are rehydrating and uh, have been cutting weight in order to do this weigh-ins, but fun times ahead. Weigh-ins, all done. 84.6, well over the limit. Well over the limit. <laughs> So on the way here, there was a crazy amount of traffic because obviously A, it's peak hour, but B, guys, it's Black Friday, so the shops are absolutely crazy. Huh? Hey, what, yeah. what sweet are you getting, bro? What dessert are you getting? Bro, we got to get food first, bro. Uh, food first, then dessert after. <laughs> you want a coffee? No, thank you, bro. I'm not a coffee guy. Hey, what's your thoughts on Singapore, though? Singapore's Wait, actually do you want to be part of the What's your thoughts on Singapore? Singapore's actually mad. Like, the agriculture's crazy, culture's crazy, food's mad. I still haven't had Singaporean food, bro. but you've had it. Yeah, Thoughts? Bro. It's very nice. Like, they use a lot of spice. They love their chili, man. Good, so they flavor their stuff? Yeah. It kills you. Hey, Honestly. didn't you want to look at Full Locker, you said? This <laughs> guy. No, I didn't know. I didn't know they had to pull off the boat. What's going Where on? Where are we going right now? What's it called? Monster Planet. Monster Planet. So we'll catch you guys up. We're we'll not going to you what I needed, but the whole, all that argument. We've been trying to get this life. thing from the beginning, and I did this. This is you. This is mine. Okay. Bro, I didn't know you. I'm going to help him out. It's their freaking stupid system. If you mix system, you can't handle it. Make me go order and pay. You know? Gotta eat it now, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gotta eat it now. Nothing you can do. I've come across this little snack thing whilst I was exploring the shopping center. Yes, I'm just gonna put the camera here. I split off from the group because I wanted to explore a little bit. I think the boys are gonna go back to their spot and uh, rest up because they're all competing tomorrow. But again, let's try out some of this one. So this one, oatmeal raisin with cinnamon. That's what it looks like. Let's try it out. Tastes like an Anzac biscuit, just with the raisins. Then this one's the butter scotch chip and pecan. Let's do it. Hmm. I definitely like the butter scotch pecan one more. I'm just gonna snack on this as I walk around the shops a little bit more. I went into Foot Locker and it does look pretty cool. Some of the stuff that's in there, we don't have it in Australia, but the prices are honestly very, very similar to Australia. Please take your items. As you guys can see, the shopping is as this camera is right up in my face. The shopping and self checkout is very similar to Coles, and I think I walked into like their version of Coles. It's a big supermarket. But I just wanted to explore a little bit, so I ended up picking up this Kit Kat chunky cookies and cream. Maybe go a little bit too ham with desserts, but it's okay. But yeah, shopping center is absolutely huge. This shopping center that I'm in, and their food courts, their food courts with all their stuff, all have lines outside of them. Every single restaurant, if not more, has lines. So the weight for most of their food is absolutely crazy. But what we was discussed with some of the boys is I think it's more authentic to have it out on the street and walk into the food places like that rather than in a shopping center. Because A, they jip you on price. And B, I don't think it's as authentic. Whereas when it's street food, I reckon it's way more better. All right, just one more thing to end it off. This is a 
pick that boy. Chocolate overload cookie. I was kind of skeptical. I was going to get it, but I said, fuck it. Just get it. Let's take a look at this stuff. Wow. Look at that. Let's try it out. Wow, that's like Subway cookie texture, and that's the bottom. I'm gonna walk around, I'm gonna eat this shit. I'm fully exploring this shopping center, and guys, holy shit. Far out, how many levels? My head is absolutely spinning. I have no idea where I am. There's so many stores, I went in like that many grocery Asian stores. Just so much things punching at my face where I like, I just feel so lost. But all the restaurants are absolutely packed and it's like 8.30, 8 almost. We need to start calming down a little bit, but we came across this bubble tea place. I ended up getting the custard milk tea with Oreo. We got two more levels to explore. Then there's another shopping center across on that side. Think of it like, um, is it Melbourne Central? Yeah, think of it like Emporium, how you cross a road into Melbourne Central. There's still another entire building full of shops and stuff. This is absolutely crazy and so overwhelming. I already feel tired just from walking and exploring. Okay, so this is the tea, custard milk with Oreo. Very, very sugary. Up my alleyway. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, I just found something, something dangerous. I was eyeing that off for the longest of time. I think I might pop my face in and try that. Chicken Shake Shack, which I don't even have an appetite for. I definitely want to check out that nasty cookie thing. Okay, so I only ended up going with one cookie because I generally don't feel like the tart, even though the tart does look a bit better, I generally cannot stomach it. But the cookie is warm. Let's open it up. Schmack bang. Chocolate. Cookie monster with chocolate fudge filling. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe how warm it is. It smells pretty good. Here we go. Mm. Okay. This is no joke. Wow. The fudgeness is oozing out of the cookie. Like the cookie is crumbling in my hands from how soft and delicate it is. I don't even realize it, but I think I came to one of the biggest shopping malls in Singapore. I genuinely feel so tired. I saw these on the internet, but it's one of those sushi trains where you sit and the train goes by giving you your food. That's hectic. Look at that. It's full moving and it delivers your food to you. I've never seen it. Alright guys, how am I ending my night off? I'm waiting for my driver to come pick me up. I believe it's called JEM Shopping Centre. So if you guys have come down to Singapore, check it out. You can spend legit a whole day here. It opens at 10, closes at 10. So I'm sending my night off with a bit of chips and most of all, water. The time is now 9.39. I'll go home, take a shit. I've already showered from when I did the seminar of Joseph Chen's. I don't want to have an early night because I've got to be over here at Jurong East Sports Hall. Uh, 9.30 a.m. is when I have to be there. So a bit of an early morning wake up and then come down, learn the rules, stretch, find out what time I'm going to be up, so on and so forth. So I just want to relax. I'm actually pretty tired. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Bit of an adventure.